Thomas, I can see the burden you carry. May I sit with you? Who are you? How did you get in here? I am Jesus, the Son of God. I am here to listen to your sorrows and offer you comfort. Jesus, huh? What could you possibly know about my pain? I know more than you might think. I have felt the pain of betrayal, the weight of sorrow, and the sting of loss. Please, Thomas, share your heart with me. My life has been a battlefield, not just the war. I've lost so many people I cared about. My parents, Grace, and others too. I've done terrible things to survive and protect my family. Every night, the ghosts of my past haunt me. I see their faces, and I feel their pain. The pain of loss and guilt can be overwhelming. It is written, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11, 28. Your burdens are heavy, Thomas. Let me help you carry them. But I've done so many wrong things. I've hurt people, manipulated them, used them for my gain. How could you forgive someone like me? Forgiveness is not about the magnitude of your sins, but the sincerity of your repentance. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Verse John 1, 9. Your heart is heavy with regret, Thomas. You can find forgiveness and peace. I've tried to protect my family, but it always seems to lead to more pain. I wanted to create a legacy, something meaningful, but all I see is destruction. Your intentions, though flawed, come from a place of love. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. John 15, 13. You've sacrificed much, but true peace and purpose come not from power or legacy, but from love and compassion. Seek to build, not through fear, but through kindness and understanding. It's hard to change. The world I live in, the things I've done, it feels like there's no way out. Change is never easy, but it is possible. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17 you are not bound by your past, Thomas. Each day is a new opportunity to choose a different path, one of righteousness and peace. What about the pain, the memories? They don't just go away. The memories may remain, but how you perceive them can change. Through healing and forgiveness, you can find peace. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalm 147.3 Let go of the past and let healing begin. I miss Grace so much. She was my anchor. Without her, I feel lost. Love never truly dies. Grace's love is still with you, guiding you. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. Hold on to the love you shared and let it guide you towards a path of redemption and peace. I don't know if I can do it alone. You are never alone. I am with you always, even to the end of the age, Matthew 28, 20. Lean on me, trust in my love, and find strength in your faith. Together, we can face any challenge. Thank you. I don't know what the future holds, but I'll try. I'll try to be better. That is all I ask. Take it one step at a time. Remember, you are loved, and there is always hope. For I know the plans I have for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Jeremiah 29 11. Thank you, Jesus, for listening, for understanding. Always, Thomas. Go in peace, and may your heart find the healing it seeks. You speak of forgiveness and peace, but what must I do to truly find it? To feel worthy of it? Thomas, forgiveness and peace are gifts that are freely given, not earned by deeds, but received through faith. For it is by grace you have been saved, through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Ephesians 2.8 Do you believe in me, Thomas? Do you accept me as your Lord and Savior? I've heard about you, read about you. I never thought a man like me could find solace in faith. But now, standing before you, I feel something I can't deny. I want to believe. I want to accept you. Then let your heart speak, Thomas. 
If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10.9 Jesus, I've done things I'm not proud of. I've walked a path of darkness. But now, I want to change. I accept you as my saviour. Help me find a new way, a way of light and peace. Your faith has saved you, Thomas. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Your past no longer defines you. Walk with me, and you will find the strength and guidance you need. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me hope, for giving me a second chance. You are loved, Thomas. Go forth with a renewed spirit. Let your life be a testament to the power of redemption and the unending love of God. I will. With your guidance, I will strive to be a better man. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, Thomas, I am always with you. In your struggles and in your victories, my love will never leave you. Trust in me, and you will find your way.